Hey there, welcome back guys. This video is brought to you by one of our viewers who asked how fast or how can we adjust the speeds to the Creality High print. Well, this method will work with any of your prints. It doesn't have to be this printer, uh, as long as your printer has that touch feature, which I'll show you in a bit. Um, but you can also do it from your slicer. Just gonna push everything here to make it just right for you. As you can see, we already have a print here right so if you have a print in your preview if you go into device you can choose from the standard speeds which i usually set by default and then you have ultra fast at 125 percent and you can even go faster so let's say if we go to a print preview here's a 3d uh figurine of one of my kids but what we want to do is we want to go here see how you have this this little menu right there so see that you see the speed that's there. But if you don't see this, if you don't see what I'm talking about, I will activate the cursor so that you can actually follow along with the, as they would say, bouncing ball. So again, knowing that and moving forward, see right here, this is the speed. Okay. See, it says speed, but you may not see it. So if you don't see it, just press that button right there so that you can have access to the full menu. See, voila, now the speed is here. And so you see, you have 60, 60. Um, these are all defaults. Now, if you know what you're doing, just play with it, see what works for you. Me, on the other hand, I don't mess around with it. I like to keep everything at its defaults. See, everything is all at the defaults. And then you have other layer speeds, 230, 300 interval. You know, again, if you know what you're doing, this is great. If not, um, it's gonna be trial and error, okay? Knowing that, moving forward, you can press this button right here. You can compare the presets by pressing there. And if you press the one next to it, that'll bring you here. As you can see, we have outer wall speed of 230 and you can adjust things from here to your likings. But I, I believe the printer is fast enough. So there's no need to, you know, go outside um, what you're actually given because, you know, as you can see, one second, I'll show you, come. Um, it's printing, right? But while it's printing, you can go to your printer and you see where it says normal? You can press normal and speed up the process to ultra fast. The ultra fast is gonna speed up the print a lot. And as you can see, now it's moving faster and faster. Um, and it doesn't give you the MMS, but we'll find that out in the computer. Okay, see 93, so it's almost at 100%. And 100% will have the fish ready. Kinda neat, huh? Well, let's see, 98. Wow, that's really fast, 99 and well, uh, see the print's done. That's ultra fast. I don't usually like ultra fast. For me, I like to keep it at normal. And again, that speed can be adjusted from here, okay? But it doesn't give you the specs and the metrics if you are a metrics person. So that's pretty fast, right? But some people want faster. So obviously you can have faster because they wouldn't give you the option to change and customize the settings right here. Um, so anyway, I believe that is pretty much it. So, you know, what speeds are you printing at? Which ones are you changing to make things a little bit faster and work just right for you? If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.